but I've never ever worn it. Parkinson's law. We hit 40k. We hit 40k. Okay. What's up guys? So, I've been procrastinating doing this for a long time. The last time I did it was almost a year back and that time my wardrobe was even a different color. In fact, I did an entire wardrobe transformation series so in case you want to see that, I will link that playlist here. Anyways, point is I've been procrastinating the entire two weeks to shoot this because I'm just lazy to declutter my wardrobe. Who isn't? And even today when I was like, you know Meghna, you don't have a choice. You have to upload this video tomorrow. You might as well declutter it. I thought to myself, hmm. What if I do this in one hour? And that's the challenge. I have created this challenge where I'm going to try to declutter my wardrobe in one hour, which is... I think it's impossible, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm also trying to apply what I learned from the 4-hour work week, which is a book I've spoken a bit about in my vlogs. And also if you're part of my channel membership, I did do two podcasts dedicated to that book. One of the major teachings of the book is the Parkinson's law. Basically, when you set yourself tighter deadlines, you actually get your work done faster than if you had given yourself a longer deadline. I think all of us think of wardrobe decluttering as this huge time-consuming task. And it is, right? Like you almost spend a day or even two, three days Days on just decluttering your wardrobe. So I thought, you know, Meghna, let's try this challenge. I'm just going to give myself one hour to declutter. I'm not talking about organization here, like folding and putting it back into the wardrobe, just the act of decluttering. I will be setting a timer for one hour, 20 minutes. Now that extra 20 minutes is grace time for me because I am shooting this. So I want to keep changing the camera angles and I shoot by myself. So I have to set my camera and tripod in different ways just to make this video more interesting and make sure you guys don't sleep through it. So yeah, that extra 15, 20 minutes is just going to be for me changing the camera angles now and then but otherwise the decluttering period is going to be approximately one hour it's close to impossible i feel even if i can get like 70 to 80 percent done in one hour I, i'll take that i'll take that this is where i'm planning to keep all my decluttered clothes of course i don't think the bed would be enough so i've already prepared some newspapers on the floor so that the rest of the clothes can go there so step one is to make sure that before you start the one hour timer everything is ready and prepped like you don't want any distractions here you don't want to go to the other room to keep your pillows aside or get new bed sheets or newspapers which is why i literally lock my room i have everything ready and i'm just gonna set the timer and get to it here's a quick look as to how my wardrobe is looking right now inside this section it might look decently organized considering the last time i organized it was one year back but of course like you can see it's just folded really badly and all the categories have gone for a mess earlier this used to be just sweatshirts now they're like some random stuff here crop tops t-shirts are all mixed up and again all mixed up stuff definitely need to reorganize all of this and declutter decluttering is my main objective here and these are loungewear stuff which again is just <laughs> really messed up as of now this is my activewear section honestly does not look too bad but again i just want to declutter because there are a couple of things here that i know i won't be wearing this is definitely the best kept section i believe because of the shoe organizers that i purchased last year which again everything i've spoken about in that previous wardrobe transformation series but yeah i will link all these organizers and these boxes which are super super helpful as you can tell in the description box so you can check it out highly highly recommend it if you have a smaller wardrobe and want to save space these are all ghar ke kapde, pjs and stuff definitely need to declutter this now i'll be cranking up some music and starting my timer for one hour 20 minutes and just do focused decluttering for the next one hour
guys so we have 50 more minutes left and this is how the condition is majority of this like this section is the yes pile and I've just kept these boxes as it is because these are my ethnic wear and I really don't have to declutter it because it's just because of lockdown I've never gotten to wear any of those things here we have all the maybe stuff like I'm still confused and we have a very small pile of no I'm really hoping that from the maybe I can put more there <sighs> so let's do that fast without any more talking also here's proof in case anyone's wondering but yeah I'm gonna quickly stop talking and get to decluttering the rest of it okay so so I realized that from the maybe pile I need to try most of them so that's gonna take a bit of time. I, I didn't actually account for the trying on clothes part which is sort of dumb but I think that's gonna definitely shoot one up but we're anyways gonna try because that's the point we have to do this as quickly as possible. That's the challenge so I'm gonna quickly change. I'm not gonna show that because well that'll be mm -mm, no. Okay, we still have 40 minutes and I took care of the maybe pile. In fact, I'm very proud because most of the maybe pile went to the no pile, which is great. That was the point. I think I would still be going through them again. The only con to this challenge is that it is so rushed, right? You only have one hour and I have to make sure that I just declutter all of them. So many of the things I am not thinking through it. I'm like, okay, I like this. Okay. And I'm just keeping it in the yes pile, even though it might be something that I'm not necessarily completely in love with and I could be you know putting it in the maybe pile at least and then take it to the no pile but the same thing is also the charm of it because of the time crunch I'm also not thinking it through and many of the things that I would otherwise justify myself and be like oh you know I want to keep it you know I might wear it someday I just look at it and I'm like oh I'm never gonna wear it and I throw it in the no pile you know so it works both ways it just depends on how you see it but I think I'm still going to go through the yes pile again since we anyways have a lot of time since this is just the decluttering part and now that I spoke we still have 40 minutes to go so yeah, I think for the next 40 minutes I'm going to go through the yes pile again and just absolutely making sure that I really want it without any more talking and wasting time let's quickly get into further decluttering the yes pile had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars mm -hmm. maybe the birds will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Okay, so we have less than 30 minutes and I'm actually almost done. Okay, so this is the yes pile, not just this. I have kept half of them, actually more than half of them on my bed just so that I can make space. And the best part guys, from the yes pile, I actually put at least three to four items in the no pile directly like imagine that that's how much rushed i was but i'm glad i got time to go through it again but there were some of them that i'm still confused about so that went into the maybe pile so we have a new maybe pile guys i want to try all of these out and then make sure they either go in the yes pile there or the no pile here i've been so strong and ruthless this time when it comes to decluttering like some new ones also which i've worn once or twice but i just don't like how they fit me but all this while i've been keeping it in my wardrobe thinking oh i spent money on them and I haven't worn it much I should just keep it and make sure I wear it next time but oh well that day never comes as we all know so I've been very ruthless this time so what I'm going to do now is try all of those out and just ask myself again Meghna do you really need these things so yeah I will get back after trying all of those out 
I am back and I'm not in focus but basically we have 15 more minutes and I finished decluttering that maybe pile again I still have 15 minutes left completely forgot to declutter that area but I was just going through this and I realized that I want to keep all of them except one because it's actually torn it's the only fall leather jacket I have and I love the color but you can see it put a foot foot gear so I know I can't use it anymore I need to well throw it away I'm so sad guys but yeah this is what decluttering does to you but I do feel much better about just clearing out my life in a way rest of the things I've realized that I really like them but I haven't gotten a chance to wear it because most of them are winter or thode colder climates ke liye. We are officially done with the decluttering guys and we I still have 12 minutes left so of course I did get 20 minutes grace time for making sure I get enough time to set up my camera in different angles and lightings and whatnot uh, but despite that also I think this is very much possible guys there's a lot in the no pile so so proud of that it is such a pretty palazzo pant but I've never ever worn it because it's very translucent so I have a lot of laziness to wear it with some leggings inside it's perfect condition and I really feel bad putting it here but I've been carrying this for 4-5 years now and I've never worn it so that should be a sign that Meghna you're probably never gonna wear this again so I might as well just donate it and it goes to someone who's actually gonna wear it more than 9 minutes left and currently the time is 5.57 and I'm pretty sure I started this around 4.45, 4.50. Of course, I got more than one hour just because I was setting up the camera and whatnot. But even if we account for that time, I would have still finished in one hour, which is insane. Which goes to tell you that if you actually put into practice Parkinson's law and shorten your time limit, shorten your deadlines, you can actually get focused work done within that time and you're saving so much time guys i'm not even kidding like i'm still shook that i could finish decluttering my entire wardrobe also guys i'm wondering since i could finish decluttering in one hour actually under one hour what if i can also organize in one hour that will be crazy i'm up for this challenge let's see if I can organize in one hour. This time though, I am not going to be shooting anything, okay? Just because I wanna see how it'll be if I don't shoot anything and I just completely focus on the task at hand. I'm going to time myself. I will show you guys proof that you know that I'm not cheating. Currently, it is 6.10. I will see you guys at 7.10. Guys, I did it. I'd be lying if I said it was easy. It was not like I really, fully focused and got it done exact on time i've decluttered so much there's so much space like even behind that space and i have one of those drawers completely empty that's how much clothes i got rid of so these are all the clothes that i'm getting rid of and you can see my bed is empty except for a few miscellaneous stuff and then that's it guys like i've completely emptied out the room i do think i need to get more of this i can put all of this in these boxes so i will be ordering from amazon these are all my ghar ke kapde and loungewear i still have a lot of space left here are all my activewear i can squeeze in a lot more clothes and that was my one hour decluttering and one hour organizing challenge which i did not expect i will pass i swear to god like i'm still shook that i could finish so this experiment was definitely a big success i highly recommend you guys also try this out trust me the parkinson's law clearly works every time i've decluttered and vlogged it for all of you on my channel it's taken me hours and hours basically the entire day to shoot and declutter and organize everything but this time just because i set myself the time limit of one hour i could actually finish it within that time that's pretty much it guys i am not going to lie this was super tiring it's either way tiring whether i take the entire day or two hours to do it so i'm just gonna chill relax have some iced coffee and call it a day please do try this challenge out for yourself and let me know in the comments down below how it went for you or you could even dm me on my instagram so make sure you follow me on my instagram and if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all in my next video till then stay happy positive and blessed and stay safe guys bye